Hello there. This is the family doctor. there, Griff Miller. Going up to your office, are you? Yes, sir. Anything I can do for you? Well, no, I don't rightly know. I reckon it's how that'll be up to you. <laughs> well, I guess you're right, Griff. Well, come on up. Uh, ain't as young as it used to be. Stairs gonna tuck me out. Well, I guess there isn't any hurry. We can take them slower. Uh, How's business at the boathouse, Griff? Oh, tolerable for this time of season, I reckon, but... Uh, Reckon as hell this is going to be the last. Yep, the last. What? Oh, no. Gosh, to Friday, Griff, you've got a long time to live yet. Yep, I guess you're right, Doc. That's just the trouble. What do you mean? Oh, there ain't uh, nothing nobody can do about it. Just have to let it go, I guess. Yep. Mm. Oh, here's Lawyer Bates coming down the stairs. Howdy, Ralph. Yeah, howdy. Oh, no. I just suppose it's fretting Ralph Bates. Uh, what's he? I said... Don't you know Lawyer Bates? Oh, yes, yep, I know him all right. But well, you didn't speak to each other. Yeah, that's right, nope. We didn't speak to each other, nope. Hmm. Yeah, step right in, Griff. Thank you. Uh, can you sit right down, Doc? Kind of tuckered. Sure, it's right in that big chair. <sighs> Feels good. Now, what seems to be the trouble? Well, I'll tell you. For about a week now, I've been getting dizzy spells, sort of. Seeing the black spots in front of my eyes. Kind of worries me. Hmm. Take off your coat, Griff. Yeah. Open up your shirt. Going to cut me open? <laughs> no, no. I'm just going to do a little sounding. Uh, uh, Griff, have you been doing any hard work on those boats of yours? Well, no, not to speak of. Got to keep them in shape, of course, but uh, I've been getting the Maynard twins to do the most of it. Pay them uh, 25 cents an hour after school. Uh, I see. Uh, <laughs> Oh, what's that for, Doc? All that thumping around in my chest. Oh, just trying out a theory. Now, Griff, when I place this stethoscope to your chest, you just sit there in a natural like and breathe. That's it. Uh-huh. What is it, Doc? My, uh, my heart. Yes, Griff. It's your heart. That's what I thought. Yep, that's what I thought. How old are you, Griff? How old? Well, let me see. Then I was too old to giant up with T.R. and the Rough Riders in 98. Well, reckon I'm past 70. That's about all I can recollect. Now, you tell me the truth, young man. Haven't you been doing some extraordinary hard manual labor lately? No, 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 Doc. I swear I ain't. The Maynard twins have been doing it all. Then uh, you got something on your mind. Well, uh... What's fretting you? Oh, Doc, I can't stand it. Well, tell me about it. You know, a doctor has to keep lots of secrets. Yeah, I guess that's right. Well... Uh, it's this way. My daddy had that there boathouse up to Miller's Lake afore me, and his daddy afore him, Granddaddy Lice Miller, he discovered it. We Millers sort of took it for granted, I guess, that it, well, that it belonged to us, yep, belonged to us. Well, doesn't it? Well, this is Saturday afternoon. It uh, belongs to us Millers. Me being the last belongs to us up till Monday morning. And what's going to happen then? Doc, Dr. Adams, I, I don't like to complain, none, but... Well, truth is, I, I let myself in for a mortgage on the place three years ago, just in order to get some new canoes and some of the newfangled outboard motors, as they call them. Yep, there's a mortgage on the place. And is the mortgage due now? No, 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 not that. The principal ain't due for another seven years, but 
course, there's always the interest to pay. Uh-huh. Well, I told you how so. business has been pretty good this season, but it ain't, Doc. Doc, it, it ain't at all. It's been, well, as the young folks say, it's been lousy. Hmm. And you can't meet your interest payment right now, is that it? Uh, yep, that's it. Well, who holds the mortgage on your property up there to the lake? Oh, well, uh, I don't think that makes no difference, Nope. It don't make... Riff? No... Uh, yep, Doc. Who holds that mortgage? Uh, well, uh, Lawyer Bates. That's what I thought. How's that? Never mind. Uh, Griff, I'm going to give you some pellets to take. I want you to take these just as you get up in the morning, uh, and then just before you go to bed at night. Just as you say, Doc. Uh, two each time, twice a day. And don't you forget them. No, no, I won't. Reckon so they'll help a mite, Doc. Yes, they will. But they won't do it all. Griff, you've got to stop worrying about the boats or the canoes or outboard motors or the mortgage. You understand? Well, yep, Doc, I understand. I, I know what you're getting at, but... Uh... I said not to worry, Griff. I'm your doctor. You let me worry about everything. Well, thank you, Doc. It's mighty kind of you. Well, uh, uh, I reckon I uh, might as well be getting back to the lake. Well, thank you, Doc. I'll, uh, I'll pay you later for these here pills. Yep, I'll, I'll pay you later. Well, don't you worry about it, Griff. Just you take them and let me worry about the paying. And uh, drop in again, say, Monday morning. Well, thank you again, Doc. Well... Good night. Yeah, good night, Griff. Well, Bates, the old skin flint, gosh, that Friday. And so help me, I don't think there's a thing I can do. Well, Ralph Bates, what in the name of good and bad happened to you? How should I know? That's what I called you for, to find out. Where have you been? Called you an hour ago. Oh, well, you know what it is around the house Monday morning? No, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, let me take a look at you. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Right. That's what I thought. Right. Let me see your tongue. Uh, say, what's my tongue got to do with it? Let me feel your pulse. Pulse? Well, all right. Uh, just as I thought. What is it, Doctor? What is it? Varicella. What? Oh, good heavens, what's that? It sounds terrible. It is, a chicken pox. Chicken pox? What did you say? Impossible. Chicken pox at my age, impossible. Uh, no, it isn't impossible. It happens quite often. Sometimes it's quite dangerous, too, in men of your age, I mean. Dangerous? Oh, no, no, it can't be. Well, that's what it is. I'm certain of it. Chicken pox. And that means I'll have to place you in quarantine. Uh, yes, yes, of course. But, uh, what? Quarantine? You can't do that. No, I've got business to do. Yeah. This is Monday morning. I've got a very important business transaction to take care of yeah. today. You can't put me in quarantine. No, no, Ralph. You mustn't yeah. carry on so. It's yeah. bad for your heart with oh, chicken pox. Yeah. Well, I'll give Pete May a prescription for you, and he can send it up with Johnny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, is this business transaction of yours anything I can take care of for you? Of course not. No small-town doctor has enough brains to take care of anything. I just lose it, that's all. Well, maybe he won't be able to raise it today. Let's hope so anyway. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Well, I'll drop around again this evening, Ralph. I'll see you then. Chicken pox at my age. It's preposterous. That's what it is. Preposterous, I say. I never heard. Uh, let me see. Can I put this sign? Right here, I guess. Uh, And there we are. Nice and yellow. (laughs) Quarantine. feeling over the weekend. You look a lot better. Well, I feel better, Doc. Well, that's good. Uh, you haven't raised the interest on the mortgage yet, have you? No, no, Bates. I thought while I was up here, I'd drop in on Lawyer Bates and tell him he might as well uh, take the place over. Uh, Lawyer Bates won't be in his office today, Griff. Oh, he won't? No, no, he won't be down. Uh, how much was that interest payment, Griff? $73.47. Mm-hmm, I see. Yeah, just a minute. (laughs) 
There you are, Griff. Uh, what's this, Doctor? Prescription? Why, why, no. It's a check. A check for $75. I'm taking a lien on your new canoes and motors, Griff. Oh. Yes, take that check down to the bank right away. Get Judge Windsor to apply it against Ralph Bates' interest claim. Oh. And then go on back to the lake and take a rest. Oh, I can't do this, Doc. I, I can't. Now, listen, young man. Didn't I tell you last Saturday to let your doctor do a little worrying for you? Oh, Doc. How can I thank you? Say, uh, by the way, Griff, haven't you got a lot of poison oak up there around Miller's Lake? Poison oak? <laughs> Law, me doctors, there's tons of it. Wish I could get rid of it. Get rid of it? Oh, you'd better not, Griff. It may come in handy again sometime. Leaving me all alone in this house all day without anybody to take care of me. With that plaguey yellow sign out there on my front stoop. How oh, now, Ralph? I told you to keep yourself calm. Uh, let me take a look at you. Hmm. There seems to be a little change. Change? Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like chicken pox this evening. What? What do you mean? What is it? It looks like poison oak. Poison oak? Uh, you let me stay here. Uh, let me out of here. I've got to find Sam Windsor. I've got to foreclose that Mortgage? Mortgage? Uh, I'll say, that reminds me. I saw Griff Miller this afternoon, uh, just after the bank closed. Griff Miller? Yeah. Told me he just paid the interest on his mortgage. <laughs> yeah. He felt pretty spry about it, too. Then, then it's too late. Mm. Say, uh, by the way, speaking of your poison oak, Ralph, they tell me there's a lot of it up around Miller's Lake. You don't suppose that's where you caught yours, do you? Sort of surveying around and like... Grant Adams, you old fox. Hmm? You did that to me a purpose. Why, what do you mean, Ralph? You made me think I had that plaguey chicken pox just to give Griff Miller time to pay off that interest. You knew all the time I didn't have chicken pox. Oh, Ralph, don't you realize you're scandalizing my professional ethics? Professional ethics. You're a doctor, Grant, and as such, you're bound to treat human ills. I guess you just can't help treating some of the mental ills of us humans along with the physical ones. Oh, now. I know I'm right. I can see it in your eyes. And Grant Adams, God bless you for it. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> 